Life is short. Life is short and time is limited. Balance it before it's too late. Life is short. Young people don't understand it. Seems like yesterday I was in school. All are given same amount of time in a day. Average life of a human is short and to do is a lot. What should I do now? How do I manage things of life that are so complicated? Do it now. You know why? Maybe there is no tomorrow for you or for me. Time is running. You can't hold it. You have to balance it. What's given to you is limited. Time is same for all of us, but life is different for all of us at different stages. But this is a test of life for what we are here in this world. We clearly know as Muslims where we came from, why we are here, for what we are here and where will we go after death. If you fail to use daily days, you will lose. Time is gone. You can't hold it. Make your life qualityful. Don't be empty-handed within and outside. You don't know if tomorrow is written for you or not. But Allah will hold you. Whatever you ask, He will give you. But you fail to ask. When life is short, you have to prioritize your work. Do it now. Don't delay. You may not get chance to do it later. You have to do a lot. But how will you do it? By managing, by sacrificing in this life. You have to sacrifice some things or the other to hold balance in this short life. If you don't understand the real meaning of life, what will you leave to your children? When life is short, spend time wisely. Don't waste it. One of the quality that people will have who will go to Jannat ul Firdos, the highest paradise, is not wasting time. You cannot waste time. You have to utilize it either in worldly things or in the things that are meaningful for deen, that is for Islam. Go to graveyard sometimes, see your future, see people who were living with you one day, died and are in grave now and so will you. Born, life, death. No one knows how much time you have left in your life. Every single minute you are wasting will never ever come back. So use it wisely. Time is the most precious thing in life. You are the only person who will change it and no one else can change for you. Stop complaining about life and utilize it whatever you have. All got same time to do things that will get you paradise. Don't be too busy in worldly things. Don't regret later what you couldn't do. Correct it now. Do that pleases Allah and live life like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam, peace be upon him, who is on number one in the world for inspiration. He is the most inspirational man and will remain forever. Allah gave him this honor. It's not easy to be same in all days. Ups and downs of life will chase you. You have to fight with everything. From where will you get that power to fight? The answer is Allah. Allah knows about your situation. He will ease your life. Some get life till 20, some get 30, some 50, some 80, and then next is grave and death. You don't give time to your family to do important things. All are busy. Busy for what? earning money, which is more than enough for living, feeling happy, seeing your bank balance, what else you have, and it will not go with you in grave. Spending time in things that will not go with you is a bare foolishness. Spend your time that get you paradise. Follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam, peace be upon him rules. Follow Allah. Learn the save yourself from death before actual time of your death comes. 
you want to do so many things in life but it's not possible that you alone can do so many things in this short life do the things that you love the most you like the most you realize your time rather than wasting it this time will never ever come back we humans get depressed we take tensions we are worried we fear things which are not in our hands we want to control everything and when it's out of our control or it's not possible to control things we take tension we get into depression because we want all the good things to happen and we never want bad things to happen can it be possible to be happy always yes when you follow allah's rule then it is possible even if you have less you will be contented you will be happy but with worldly things they make you happy for a moment even if you buy the most expensive things after some time you will lose interest you won't feel that much happy anymore so decide do you want to be happy for a moment in this world or you want eternal happiness after death in jannah we muslims know what questions will be asked in grave whoever don't know now is the time to know it if you don't know for what you are here being muslim you will regret it so much later on because punishment is severe it's severe hard day just fact you can't bear it so wake up now you say tomorrow tomorrow will become today and there is no tomorrow it's always today give meaning to your life else life will give you the lesson to that that you will not like it and result will lead to hell fire